Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are heading out to Budapest for the Hungarian Grand Prix. This is my first time watching the Formula One live and I am very, very excited. If you haven't already checked out all the Disney Cruise Line vlogs that have just come out, make sure to go check them out. There is also another Disney Cruise Line series coming directly after this as we are going back on for another two cruises. And other than that, let's get going. successfully made it through security it was quite stressful a lot of people were doing the wrong thing and getting pulled up and then there's like hour long queues to try and get through we are now through though and boots is closed which is not a good sign so i don't know what we're gonna do for food hopefully more things are open further down here we go hotel it is very very nice i think we have a good view by my mum's expression just now so we are staying at the danubius hotel helia which is like kind of to the north of the city and it's on the pest side and the lobby is amazing it's got a restaurant it's got a fitness center it's got a spa the room kind of looks a bit old i feel like the decor is very like old but it, it looks nice it's clean it looks fresh. yeah like i'll just give you guys a little tour so as you walk in there's like this wardrobe which has a safe and a fridge which is pretty good and then there's like all of this space to put clothes in here and then this is the bathroom it's pretty small but it's you know it's nice it's clean <gasps> you get free shampoo and stuff and a shower cap this is the shower towel soap and shower gel and then as you come through there's like a little bench to put your suitcase on and then we requested like a twin room so it's like two single beds but they look pretty wide they're not really skinny ones we have like a tv section and a kettle with tea which is very good and then a chair table a few lamps and this is our view it's kind of hard to see because it's night so other than that i will see you guys in the morning for the first day of budapest adventures it's officially our first day in budapest and we are so so excited we are just about to leave the hotel to go and explore we don't really have big plans for the day we do need to go and pick up our wristbands for the formula one but other than that we're just going to kind of explore and see what we get up to but as promised last night i will show you guys the view it is amazing <laughs> If anybody is interested in our current location, that just across the river is Margaret's Island. So we're literally just across from it and we're right kind of at the top of the city as well. We have made it to the river. This is so beautiful. They have like cafes that are like boats, I guess. Or they're not, but they're like right on the edge. Ago, this very day I saw you from my so we've just come into this, it looks like a pharmacy, but it has loads of vegan food. It's kind of like Holland and Barrett. They've got like Nutella basically, I think. And then they have like these chocolate rice cakes. There's so many things. I have no idea what that is, but it's very nice looking. We might have to go and explore it in a bit. What do you do when you go to a new country? Explore the supermarket. We are currently in Aldi. This is actually crazy. These bottles of wine, the rosé ones, are two pounds. <gasps> That's like about one pound fifty. That's crazy. So this probably only matters for a few people, but genuinely, if you are vegan or gluten free, this is really, really good. Like everything is labeled. I don't know why I look bald, but we've just been in Aldi and anything that is that, they had vegan croissants in the bakery. They had loads of gluten free stuff. Like literally everything has labels. It's in English. So like, it's not difficult to figure it out. It is very, very impressive. So this vodka, which is 40%, is £2.50. £2.50. For 70 centiliters, that's insane. This must be something significant because it's massive, but we don't know what. I see a sign Formula One wristband pickup is down these stairs. Let's go. Try to walk between the raindrops, ride the waves of every storm. So we have had a very chaotic morning. We went to pick up our wristbands about three, four hours ago. 
Then we were told that our PCR tests run out after 72 hours and because our vaccines are from the European Union, we have to have PCR tests every three days, which means that our test that we took on Tuesday doesn't actually count until Sunday. So basically we had to go find another PCR test. But then we found some random American people and they became like our best friends. We've been hanging out with them all day. We had to go on a massive journey to go and get our PCR test. It was quite a nightmare, but we have now sorted it. Now we have departed from our friends. We're gonna meet them tomorrow though. And we're just gonna go and have an explore like we actually planned to do today. But it's already, what time is it? It's already four Like four o'clock, yeah. So we've kind of wasted a lot of the day having to do that, which is a bit of a nightmare. But yeah, so we found this place called Tokmag vegan street food. So I'm guessing it's all vegan. It looks really good So this is what we've got. I got a nacho burger and this is the mushroom burger and all together It cost less than nine pounds. That is amazing. I'm very excited about this So we've just come back to the hotel to drop off some of our things We are now gonna head back out and go and have a walk around Margaret Island Which we haven't done yet obviously um, to see what that's like and then that's pretty much gonna be the rest of our day because it's already six o'clock <laughs> So it looks like there's some type of a fountain show going on over here, which is pretty cool. tells you what songs they're playing at what time so there's a show every hour from 11 until 9 <gasps> uh, they have a Disney song and the one above it Moana I would genuinely say that's Disney standard we, we don't say that things are good very often outside of Disney but honestly that was so good currently Friday and we are just about to leave for the practice day at the Formula One so we first need to head into town pick up the rest of our wristbands which we couldn't get yesterday because of the whole COVID test thing we are then going to share a taxi with the guys we met yesterday and head over to the circuit and hopefully we will make it in time for practice number one we've made it so we're just walking up the hill to actually get to the real entrance but we're here they're selling all sorts of things Hamilton, We've made it. So Jacket here is uh, oh God, Mercedes, Red Bull, and McLaren, and then it's Aston Martin. Yeah. That's that's probably the. I mean, I'd rather see Ferrari than Aston Martin, but that's pretty good. We have less than five minutes to go until FP1. Here he comes. This is this is Hamilton coming out now. everybody it seems as though I didn't really film anything yesterday because it wasn't that exciting there is a lot happening today obviously it's qualifying for the main Formula One it's also the women's main race this afternoon so I'll make sure to get a little bit of that on as well I'll also show you guys a bit of like the food stalls it's really cool it's kind of like a festival vibe like there's a lot going on there's loads of food stalls and <laughs> your face <laughs> and it's actually a very reasonably priced as well I know I didn't say that word right I just can't say it um, we got these like lemonade cups which is American lemonade in like a souvenir cup for four euros ish or pounds so it's like really really good value especially considering you're like trapped it's away from the city so yeah we are just about to head out and we'll see what happens today that is cool <laughs> We 
we've literally just stood there for like an hour and a bit waiting for all the drivers to come past that was literally so fun especially when charles waved at us that was so cool in second place Are you all, you all yeah we can see the podium from here that's so good race not waste race of the weekend and ne the next thing that is on is the last formula one practice later today i'm going to be speaking to three teams i'm going to be speaking to alpha Tauri, alpha romeo and aston martin but it's not going to be my questions i want your questions in order to get your questions in i need you to send in any questions you have for the drivers using the hashtag fan forum <laughs> How zoomed in am I right now? I'm 17 times zoomed in. literally just watching it. <laughs> for three and a half hours last night trying to get pictures and videos and stuff of all the drivers so you will have just enjoyed that footage but it is officially race day we are just about to head out it's early in the morning we are going to go for the drivers parade and then watch the main race i think there's a couple of other events going on in between as well so we just got this it's chicken with the, uh, potato wedges and a sprite but it's in like a cool container it costs seven pounds and 21p approximately <laughs> And yeah, we just got it because it looked cool. Obviously, I can't have it, but that is literally so much fun.
have had an amazing day at the Formula One with Lewis coming third. That was brilliant. Also, Esteban Ocon's first win and Vettel getting second. It was so much fun. It was obviously such a shame that everybody got out. I think six or seven people got out like right away, but it was still a really good race. We are now heading to the Hard Rock Cafe to pick up some souvenirs. If there's anybody out there who's been watching my channel for a long time, you will know how long I've been waiting to do this. We tried in Paris. I tried in Copenhagen. I tried in London. Today is finally the day we are going to Vapiano's for tea. It's happening. So all of this food cost about twelve pounds. The Paris one, I bet that cost twelve pounds on its own. Like that is such good value. Good morning, everyone. It is our final day here in Budapest. Our flight isn't till about five p.m., so we've got a few hours just to go and explore. Not sure. We don't really have a plan of what we're gonna do, but we're just gonna go see what we can do in the next few hours, and then we will be heading back home. And then on Wednesday, which is two days from now, we are heading on a Disney cruise, another Disney cruise from Southampton. So we've come to this restaurant called Cosmos Vegan Restaurant. I think. It's kind of far away from where we were staying. We've been walking for ages, but it's completely vegan. So we are very excited to have some lunch here. So this is the spinach pasta. And this is the mushroom ragu. And we also got some sweet potato fries on the side as well.